Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Capricorns. Capricorn, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Capricorns. For their highest and greatest good. All right, so we've got the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Your person's energy, the Knight of Cups in reverse. They're viewing you as the Two of Cups. What you're not seeing is the Judgment card. And we have the Knave of Cups. And the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so on this channel, when all of the cards come out in reverse, we're going to turn them upright. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is you are absolutely about to get a love offer from someone who sees you as their soulmate. Now, I feel like this is your energy, the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, that you've been just like head down. Um, I'm hearing chop wood, carry water, right? You've been working, you've been busy, you've been focused on you. Well, this person, they're dreaming of you. They're dreaming of you and they're trying to manifest you, but it feels like with the four of pentacles, you both have probably been holding back. Um, and it looks like this person is holding back as well. Like they're, they're trying to manifest you or they're trying to strategize or um, plan like the right time to come towards you. All right, so we see the Four of Pentacles, wow, and the Ten of Pentacles. This person sees marriage, commitment, forever with you, and the King of Pentacles in reverse, but they're not taking action right now. All right, Capricorn, they're not taking action. That's what I'm getting off of this Knight of Cups. It's quite a dreamy energy. Maybe they're waiting for you to take action or they want you to come towards them. This person... Um, yeah, it's like this person, they're very, very dreamy. They, they're, they're, they're romanticizing, fantasizing about this future with you, but they're not taking action. And it may be due to Mercury retrograde as well. All right, so temperance energy. They could have Sag in their chart. This person could also be healing from something like accident, illness, injury, you know, uh, financial loss, whatever it might be, maybe the loss of a loved one. This person, though, they are manifesting you. Oh, my goodness. And with this Sag energy, it's like this person is very large-hearted. They're trying to see the big picture. It's like they want to do everything right. Um, and we get the Ace of Swords. And here they come. This is either reconciliation or they're coming in with a message, um, clarity, truth. They see you as their Two of Cups, as their soulmate. Hmm, they might feel like you're avoiding them, Capricorn, a little bit. Um, or they might be like just trying to figure out if you have any other options. Um, and the Four of Wands. This person's a little bit worried that you don't want commitment. They might also feel like you're you're a little non-committal here, to be honest. And, you know, it, it may not be the case, but it could just be their fears coming to the surface. For some of you, there's distance between the two of you. Um, for some of them, they're just not so sure that you want marriage and commitment. And, and, and they might be scared of rejection because I do feel that that's what they want. With the judgment card here, this person's making a decision once and for all to reach out, to heal things, to come towards you, to tell you how they're really feeling. This could also be an energy of second chances. Coming on the heels of this lunar eclipse in Scorpio, it makes total sense to me that this person is like very now or never with you. And wow, two of cups. This is going to even this is even going to shock you Capricorn. This seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. It feels like it's divinely orchestrated or ordained with the knave of chalices you have an apology or a love offer or just the beginning of an in very intimate relationship forming here. Yep, this person's going to get something off of their chest so that they can have this new beginning. There's a tough cycle in love that's ending, so get ready for passion. And I see two people moving forward in that boat, Capricorn. So for a lot of you, this is beautiful. This is someone you're going to marry. This is your soulmate. The Nine of Pentacles tells me they see you as having it all. All right. Um, they see this as a healthy relationship. They probably match your energy in that, like you're very compatible um, they see you as having it all. They see you as, 
yeah, they see you as their person. It's just they're not quite taking action right now. And I'm wondering if they're working on their finances. For some of you, they might be saving up to buy a gift, possibly a ring for some of you. Of course, it's not going to be for all of you. Maybe a ticket to see you or just like a small, I don't know, a small gift for you is what I'm seeing. All right, let's see what clear messages and guidance we can get regarding your person. All right, so for some of you, they may be a widow or a widower. They might also be really worried that you're the one. They don't want to lose you. This person loves to stay in, and you two are very comfortable together. So you have compatible lifestyles, and this person is also very supportive. I love that. Okay, they're very supportive. All right, let's see. What would this person like to say to you? What do they want to say to you? Um, I'm afraid to contact you. So they are a little bit worried that you're going to reject them or maybe you don't want the same things. They watch your social media and they're worried that you're going to leave them behind. And when with the Seven of Swords, they might just be worried that you're going to get away. Um, I don't know what comes next. They're a little bit nervous. They're a little bit... They're, I just feel like they're worried they're going to lose you or that you don't want to be coupled up or you don't want a commitment with them. Um, but I, I kind of feel like it's just some of those like jitters, those fears, you know, of not being on the same page because they're that into you. All right, let's see. All right, so this is definitely like, so I feel like there's divine timing here in this connection, Capricorn. Um, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and your spiritual path. So I feel like for some of you, you know, you may not have been able to come together at a certain time in the past because the timing wasn't right. feels like this eclipse is really bringing this together, or at least it's planting those seeds or clearing out obstacles. The temperance energy remembers always whenever temperance shows up, it's a, it's a divine assist, right? Assistance from the divine here to bring you two together. So I love that confirmation. Spirit saying makes, you know, you might have like a flirty, lighthearted energy with this person. Like things are, you know, lighthearted, but they're kind of uncertain. I feel this person kind of wants to seal the deal, kind of wants to lock it down. That's what I'm getting. Um, but I'm also seeing here too, you know, if this person hasn't been communicating or they haven't been taking action, you know, don't put your life on hold either. Um, but you deserve love. And I also feel like this is karmic justice for my Capricorns, that you really deserve this, this type of devoted, compatible connection. And spirit saying this is the romance of a lifetime. There is true love here. So double, triple, wow, Capricorn, because we get some really beautiful energy coming towards you. It's like the end of a tough cycle, a passionate new beginning where I see two people very easily, very comfortably moving towards a, you know, a stable and loving and devoted future together. So I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading, or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.